ಸಮಂಗಿ ವಾಕ್ಪ್ರಾಣಶ್ಚಕ್ಷುಶ್ರೋತ್ರಮಥ ಬಲಮೇಂದ್ರಿಯಿ ಸರ್ವಾಣಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೌಪನಿಷದ ಮಾಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕುರ್ಯಾ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕರೋದಿರಾಕರಣಮಸ್ತ್ವಿರಾಕರಣಸ್ತು ಮಣಿ ನಿರತೆಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಧರ್ಮಸ್ತೆ ಮೈ ಸಂತು ಮೈ ಸಂತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾಧರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಮಿತ್ಯೇತದಕ್ಷರ್ಮುದ್ಗೀತಮುಪಾಸೀತ ಓಮಿತ್ಯುದ್ಗಾಯತೆ ತೋಪವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನ ತದನನ್ಯ ಆರಂಭಣಶಬ್ದಿಭ್ಯ ತನನ್ಯಕಾರಣೋ ಅನನ್ಯವಗಮ್ಯ ದಿಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಆಕಾಶಾಧಿ ಬಹು ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಜಗತ್ this variegated universe beginning from space is a karyam is a effect or the product karanam param brahma and the cause the material cause is param brahma tasmat karanat paramatadha ananyatvam thus in reality the jagat which is karya does not stand apart from brahman param brahma which is the material cause what is meant by ananyatvam vyatirekena abhavah non existence in exclusion if you take away brahman from this jagat nothing remains jagat is because brahman is jagat is not if brahman is not meaning without brahman jagat cannot be so brahman is independent jagat is dependent jagat enjoys a dependent reality brahman enjoys a independent reality brahma is satyam jagat is mithya the mithya is non separate from satyam arambha shabdadibya from this passage which talks about arambhanam vacharambhanam vikaro namadhyam mrutika ityeva satyam that vikar hai what is called vikar or modification vacharambhanam has its origin only in speech meaning creation of part takes place from speech not from clay part is created not from clay is created from speech what do you mean speech the word part so that is the reality of that object part is the word part mrutika <coughs> ityeva satyam meaning what we call part is purely a projection mrutika clay alone the material cause alone 
is satyam is alone the reality. So not only the Shruti asserts the non-duality, it also condemns the duality. Mṛtyu smṛtya māpnodi yaiha nāneva paśyati One who sees in Brahman as though the duality, mṛtyo ho sa mṛtyum āpnodi He attains one death from another death. Thus, the non-duality is asserted and duality is condemned. Both are important. It is a bhidvastim apavadana etadeva darshayati. Bhidvastim apavadana. Apavada means ninda. Thus censuring, condemning bhidvastri. There is no bheda, but there is bhidvastri. There is no duality as such, but there is the Bheda Dhrishti, the notion of duality. There is no snake as such, but there is the notion of the snake, which of course has the same effect as a real snake. Similarly, ya naneva pasyadi, one who sees as though the duality, meaning one who perceives duality where it is not. What there is, is Brahman, one without a second, that is the only entity. There, somebody sees the duality, Jagat, so subject, object, duality, all of this is nothing but the projection of the mind. Thus who lives in the projected world, the Jiva Srishti, Mṛtyo Smṛtyam, he does not live in reality. Yānisa Sarabhūtānāṁ tasyam jāgarti sanyami. The wise person lives in reality. The ignorant person is sleeping or is in dream. Who is a dreamer? Dreamer is the one who has projected his own world. And so also the ignorant person has projected this duality which is like a dream. That is where the wise person does not have an entry. And where the wise person is awake, the ignorant does not have an entry. <coughs> Further, in this darshanam, or what you call bheda bheda vada, which is parinama vada, ours is the, so in the previous sutra, the Parinama Vada, that the pot is the modification of clay, was accepted and the view was refu refuted that there should be duality in the Vyavahara also. Now this Sutra takes the Vivarta Vada, that pot is a projection upon, upon the clay. One Vada is Pot is the modification of clay. Other one is, pot is the projection upon clay. That is the Vedanta Darshanam. So if you take Parinama Vada, if you say Brahman is modified into Jagat, so Brahman as one also is real, Jagat also is real, there is nothing unreal. Then there is no ignorance. If there is no ignorance there, what's the role of knowledge? Knowledge, the purpose of knowledge is to dispel ignorance. But according to you, the non-duality also is real. The duality also is real. Then what is to be dispelled? There is no, uh, there is no ignorance. And therefore, the knowledge has no role to play. Nacha Asmin Darshane Jnanat Moksha Heti Upapadyade 
in this darshanam, in this bheda, bheda vada, that moksha is the result of knowledge also is not logical. Samyajnana apanodhyasya kasajit mithya jnanasya samsara kāṇatvena anabhivagamāt Because in Bheda Bheda Vāda they do not accept ignorance as the cause of this duality. So mithya jnanasya samsara kāṇatvena That samsara in terms of duality is, is, there is no say it's not a result of mithya jnana, it is a reality. They don't accept the creation as the product of mithya jnana. We say that the very creation itself is the product of the ignorance or false knowledge. They say no, the creation is real, so it is cannot be the product of the false knowledge. Since they do not accept any mithya jnana, according to them, there is no role for the knowledge to play. Uve satyatayam hi katham ekatva jnanena nanatva jnanam apanudyate iti If duality also is real and non-duality also is real, then my knowledge of non-duality, duality is not sublated, is not negated. Because what is real cannot be negated by knowledge. So duality still remains. If duality remains, then there cannot be moksha. So now on the page 376 now, continuing. Idanim pratyakshadi pramanya anyatha anupatya nanatvasya satyatvamedi urupaksha bijam udghadayadi. Vedanim Puravadi Swabhiprayam Prakatayati. Now Purupakshi comes up with his own real intention. What was in his mind in justifying the duality, he has something in mind. And that is to explain the Vyavahara. All this Pratyakshadi Vyavahara is all based on duality. And he says, now he wants to catch hold of you. If you do not accept duality, how will you explain Vyavahara at all? There cannot be Vyavahara in non-duality. Vyavahara or any kind of transaction, interaction requires to the subject interacts with the object. But if ob- there is only subject, there is no object at all, then who will interact with whom? So now Bhashyakara says, So the Pratekshadi Pramanya Anindhanu Patya. The protection means perception. And this of the means of knowledge as inference. All of this presupposes duality. Perception means what? If there is a perceiver and there is an object of perception and there is an act of perception. So, all this vyavahara of even hearing, thinking, seeing, talking, eating, walking, all of this presupposes a subject, an object, who is different from the subject. So, therefore, pratyakshadi, pramanya, anyatha, anupatya. Anyatha, anupatti, arthapatti. That duality has to be there because pratyaksha, because pratyaksha or perception is accepted as pramanam. See, perception is the pramanam, a valid means of knowledge. And so our organs of perception produce the valid, mean, valid knowledge. That perception could not be valid if duality was not there. Anyathanupatti. Had this duality not been real, the perception would not have been real. And perception is accepted as pramana by everybody, including Vedantin. So if you accept perception as pramana, means what? 
perception creates a valid knowledge and perception creates knowledge of duality. Therefore, you have to accept duality, otherwise perception will have nothing to do. So that is his, he wants to, now this is, he wants to catch you. This is his, what do you call it in chess? The check, this is his check. <coughs> so say his Bhashagara. Nanu ekatva ekanta abhipagame nanatva abhavat pratyaksha dini laukikani pramanani vyahanyerana nirvishetva sthanva dishu iva Purushadi Jnanani No, no, Ekatva Ekanta Bhivagame Ekatva Se Ekanta Kaivalyam See, Veda, Veda Vada also accepts non-duality at the level of cause and accepts duality at the level of effect. But you Vedantin wants to accept only non-duality. Kaivalyam. In absolute sense also, there is no duality whatever according to you. If there is no duality whatever, if there is only non-duality, then nanatva abhavat, there is no duality whatever, there is no subject, there is no object, Sarvam Brahma Upanishadam. What is this? Just Brahma, which is revealed by Upanishad. Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma. What there is is Brahma. Brahma Ivedam Sarvam. What all this is Brahman alone. There is no subject, there is no object. So Nanat Vabhavat Pratekshadini Lokigani Pramanani. Vyahanyerana. Then who will perceive with what? If there is no perceiver separate from what is perceived. Perception requires that there should be a perceiver and there should be an object of perception. So this duality between the perceiver and perceived is presupposed for the perception to work. But if there is no perceiver and no percep- perceived, everything is Brahman alone, then who will see with what? Who will perceive with what? Then perception is out of place, has no role to play. There, is no, there can't be perception. But nanatva bhavat pratyakshadini logikani pramanani. This is a Vedika Pramanam, Aham Brahma Asmi, Logika Pramanam. All these means of knowledge in the realm of lo- Loka means in the realm of Vyavahara. Vyaharen, Vahanyeran, they will be all falsified. <coughs> or they, they will be all nullified as a matter of fact, there will be no perception at all. Nirvishetvat because there is no valid vishaya. Perception has nothing to do. Perception has no valid content at all. There is nothing to be perceived. There is no perceiver. Therefore, there can't be any perception. Therefore, nirvishetvat, there is no vishaya, there is no content, valid content, you know, to this perception. Therefore, the perception and everything else will be falsified, nullified. And Vedantin doesn't want that. Vedantin also accepts perception etc. as Pramanam. He knows that. So he's he's pressing your sensitive nerve. Look, if you accept non-duality as the only thing and nothing else, there is no duality whatever. In that case, remember that there will be no perception, no perceiver. And therefore the protection all of this will become invalid.
So Vyahanyeran Apramanani Suhu, they will be falsified, they will be nullified, they will no more remain Pramana. Says Ratnava Upajivya Pratekshadi Pramanyaya Vedantanam Veda Veda Paratvam Uchitam Iti Bhavaha. Understand that the primary Pramanam or valid means of knowledge is perception. All the rest of the knowledge is all based on perception. We have the inference which also requires perception. You can infer the presence of the fire from the smoke that is perceived. And similarly all other upamanam, arthapatti, anupalabdhi, even shabda also, you describe something in words, provided you have seen it, perceived it. So perception, mula pramana upajivya, it is a life uh, sustaining thing. It sustains all of the pramanas. And Vedanta is Shabda Pramanam. Shabda also is one of the Pramanam, therefore, that also requires perception as a basis. So when Vedanta talks about, Vedas talk about Swarga, etc., they all require, they are all descriptions based on the perception, meaning that Shabda will create a picture in your mind based on what you have perceived. Suppose they describe there is a 200 story building in Swarga, suppose. It's not there on the earth. In, on the earth you have seen at least in Amdava 10 story building. In Bombay 25 story building. In New York 100 story building. From that you can build up a picture of a 200 story building, but that's again based on perception. Therefore, in order that perception, inference, etc. are pramanam, it requires duality, and therefore, for justifying or validating those pramanam, you have to accept the duality, and Veda Vedavada has to be accepted. Says Nyanirne, Na kevalam ekantva ekatva ekanta abhivagame pratikshadi virodha kintu karma kanda virodha scha. So your insistence that there is all that there is is Brahman, one without a second, that will also nullify the karma kanda. How Tatha Subhashakara says, Tatha vidhi pratishedha shastram api veda apekshatvad tadabhave vyahanyeta Tatha similarly vidhi nishedha shastram api the karma kanda which is the nature of vidhi and nishedha do's and don'ts. So you do this, don't do that. There also there must be a doer. When can you tell somebody go and bring this provided that somebody is there. So karma kanda also presupposes all this varna vivastha, the jivatma, all of this presupposed. That there is svarga, there is jyotishtama, karma, there is yajmana, there is a, you know, so rutvig, all of these vivastha is presupposed by karma kanda also, then alone they can tell you to do this and not do that. So whole karma kanda also is based on this duality. So vidhi prati shedha shastra bhi, bheda pekshatvat, because that shastra, that scripture, which of the nature of vidhi and prati shedha, injunction and prohibition. Veda Apekshatvat, that also is Apeksha, that also is based on duality. Tada Bhave, Veda Bhave, Vyahanyeta, if Veda or the duality is not there, that also will be nullified.
then says Nyaya Nirana, Nanu Pratyakshadinam Karma Kandis Chacha Abramanyam Advait Vadinam Nanishtam. Let it be. Vedantin says, all right, karma kanda is, is proven to be false, let it be, who cares? Perception, etc. are not pramana, we don't ever care. We are saying that Shastra alone, Upanishad, only is pramanam. See, if others are not pramanam, we don't mind. So, pratyakshadinam karma kanda is such a apramanyam advaitavadinam nanishtam. Advaitavadi does not, does not mind. If perception is nullified, if karma kanda is nullified, that does not bother us at all. Tehi jnana kanda meva ekam pramanam ashrayante because Vedantins look upon only jnana kanda as a pramanam, not even karma kanda. All right, tatra. To that, the Purupakshi says, Moksha Shastra Stiyapi Shishya Shasitra De Bheda Pekshatwar Tadabhave Vyagatasya Moksha Shastra Stiyapi Moksha Shastra The scripture which deals with moksha or liberation, which according to Vedantin, Vedanta Nama Upanishad Pramanam. What is Vedanta? Upanishad. And that is Pramanam, that is Moksha Shastra. Now, Swami used to say, Gita is Moksha Shastra. Therefore, Moksha Yishyami Vasuchaha. Moksha Shastra. Similarly, Upanishad is Moksha Shastra, not similarly, Upanishad is Moksha Shastra, therefore Gita also is Moksha Shastra. But the Upanishad also, Shishya Shasitradi, Veda Pekshatvat, there also an aspirant goes to a master, asks a question, and then master unfolds the nature of knowledge, there also Shishya and Shasita, the taught and the teacher, that duality is accepted even in Moksha Shastra. Otherwise, how will you have knowledge? Upadekshanti te jnanam jnaninaha tattvadarshinaha Those jnanis and tattvadarshi mahatmas will definitely impart the teaching to you. So, Moksha Shastra also requires that there must be shasita Upadeshta, meaning the one who imparts the knowledge. And Shishya must be there, the disciple also must be there, the one who receives that knowledge also must be there. Then Shastra must be there, based on which the Upadesha is given. So Shastra, so Shishya, then Shasita, then Shastram, all of this must be there, otherwise how can this transaction of the teaching take place? But according to you, all there is is Brahman, so there is no teacher, there is no taught, there is no teaching, nothing. There were Vyagatasyat, there also, there will be, even the Moksha Shastra also will be nullified. Then further, says Ratna Brahma, Nanu Karma Karakanam, Yajamana Dinam, Vidya Karakanam, Shisha Dinam, Kalpa Vedam Ashitya, Karma Gnana Kandayo Prabhutte. Vedanta is a ready answer. He says, Kalpa the Vedam Ashritya. There is as though duality, not a real duality. Karma Karakaram Yajamanadinam. The karma of the ritual, 
cause so many karakas. Karaka means what? Accessories to variety of actions. Like karta must be there, karma must be there, karanam must be there. Yajmana, Ritvik, so all of these are required. They make up the various accessories and that's how karma or the ritual can be performed. And vidya karanam, shishya dinam, for vidya also, shishya, shasita. So Vedan means this kalpya vedam ashritya. You see, the shishya is not really different from shasita. Oh, Yajamana is not different from Ruttvik, etc. It is accepting that duality temp- for the time being is only Kalpana. Meaning that all the Vyavahara is taking place only in Kalpana. So, Kalpeda Vedam Ashritya. Wherever Veda is there, wherever duality is there, it is Kalpita, it is projected. So, accepting for the time being and so that that is dis- disciple and that is teacher. Advaitam Paramarthataha. In reality, what is Advaitam? If Paramarthata is what is non duality. And there is no duality accepted by Vedanta. Alright. So Karma Jnana Kandayo Prabhuttehe. So that is how. Karma and Jnana Kanda are explained by Vedantin that they are based on the Kalpita Veda or projected duality. Svapramayasya Dharma Dehe Abadhat. Therefore, Svapramayasya Veda Pramayasya, the Pramaya, what is to be known through Veda is Dharma Dehe, Dharma and Brahma. Pramanyam avyahatam. So Vedantin says that for performing the vyavahara, you do not require a real duality. And that upadeshadayam vadah jnate dvaitam vidyate. Upadeshadayam vadah for upadeshad is vada of shishya etc. is there. Jnate dvaitam vidyate. When the shishya realizes the truth, then there is no duality left at all. So, the pramanyam avyahatam. Therefore, everything is projected, including Vedas also are projected, you know, because Shastra, Shasita and shishya, all of these are projected. So, Vedanin says that all you need is the projected duality, a real duality is not needed. For you to be afraid, a projected snake is enough. You don't need a real snake to be afraid. So also in dream, for example, a lot of this uh, Vyavahara is carried out. And as long as dream is going on, that Vyavahara is real for the dreamer, that doesn't mean that the duality of the dream is real. So Vedantin accepts that yes, the Shishya, Shasita, all of these are Kalpana for the purpose of Upadesha. To that the Puru Pakshi asks, Kathamcha Anrutena Moksha Shastrena Pratipaditasya Atme Katvasya Satyatvam Upapadyeta Iti Kathamcha Anrutena Moksha Shastrena Your Moksha Shastra is Anrutam, is false, is projected, is not real. Tena pradipadigasya egatasya katham satyatvam. So knowledge that is imparted by a shastra which is mithya. How can mithya shastra create the true knowledge? Shastra says tattva masi, you are Brahman. 
But that Shastra also is projected, is projection. The one who actually teaches also is a projection. The one who is listening also is a projection. All this interaction is taking place in projection. So the knowledge created, I am Brahman. When Shvedagetu is told, you are Brahman, then he comes to realize, I am Brahman. How can that knowledge be true? So how can a false Shastra create true knowledge? So all pressing the sensitive nerves here, you know. <coughs> That's what Jnana also said, Nanu Mithya Bhuta Shishya Dibheda Paradhinasya Moksha Shastrasya Mithya Tvebi Tat Prameyasya Pratyagaikasya Satyatvat Asmat Paksha Siddhi That's what we said. The knowledge that it creates, we say that, so, the knowledge pratyek aikyasya satyatvat. The pratyek aikyam, the non-duality that is created by this teaching is real. So then, now how can a false thing create the real knowledge? Now this is the question here. Says the Puru Paksha, dhuli kalpeta dhumena anumitasya vanneheva Pramiya Bhada Apatyaheti Bhavaha Dhuli Kalpita Dhumena Anumitasya See normally the rule is that Yatra Yatra Dhumaha Tatra Tatra Vannehi Wherever smoke is, there the fire must be. But sometimes there can be only an appearance of smoke. What is there is all the dust. A cloud of dust is there, from a distance it looks like it is smoke. And therefore you infer the presence of fire. So this cloud of dust which is false, how can they lead to the knowledge of the real fire? Pramiyabhat, meaning that your percept, then your inference is wrong. If you come to the conclusion that there is fire there, based on the perception of a cloud of smoke which you have mistaken to be smoke then your inference or your conclusion that there is fire that conclusion is wrong so prameyabhada apatte that fire also is negated similarly the shastra is false and so the knowledge that it gives also will be false Sri Ratna Brava Tatra Dvaita Vishaye Pratyakshadinam Yavad Badam Vyavaharikam Pramanya Upapadyadeti. Vedantin says that all these transactions are all right in the realm of ignorance. Dvaita Vishaye Pratyakshadinam Yavad Badam. As long as the Badha has not taken place, as long as the negation has not taken place, as long as the knowledge of non-duality is not taken place, and the duality is not recognized to be false, until then the duality is recognized to be real. In which case, so Bhashaka will explain, as in dream for example, even though the dream is false or a project is projection, still for the dream, dreamer does not know that it is projection. And therefore, he takes the dream to be real and all the experiences to be real. So you need not have a real duality. All that is necessary is the notion of duality. And that notion is false. So it will be negated someday when the knowledge of the truth takes place. But until then, all the transactions are all right. So Yavad Badham Pratyakshadina Vyavarikam Pramanyam Until the Bhada or the negation of the duality takes place, until then Pratyaksha and others are Pramanam. There is a Vedantin Paksha. 
So Vedantin's answer is that even though the duality is false, as long as you do not know that it is false, it is real for you. And so long as the pratyaksha, the perception, all of these are also real for you. So Vashyakara says, or Yeah, okay. Says Nyanirne Pratyakshadhyana Kanda Dvayana Chivirodat Na Samanva Adhigamyam Aikyam Sambhavita Miri Chodite Pariyati For the whole second chapter of Brahma Sutra, Samanva is a Vishaya. In the first chapter of Brahma Sutra, Samanvaya was established, consistency was established. That all the Upanishads have their subject matter in Brahman. That's the conclusion from the first chapter of Brahma Sutra. That itself is questioned every time. So Puru Bhakshi keeps on questioning that again and again. Therefore, Samanvaya Sadhigamyam Aikyam Nasambhavitam. The Aikya or the non duality which has been arrived at by in the first chapter is not possible. Tatraha, so Vashaka Atra Idi Atra Uchade. To this we have to say this Naisha Doshaha. There's no defect that there is the Bada or this Pratyaksha, etc., will be nullified is not a problem at all. Or that the false Shastra, how can it generate the real knowledge, is not a problem. Says Vashyakara, Sarva Vyavaharanam Eva Prag Brahmatmata Vijnana Satyatvopapattehe Sapna Vyavaharasya Iva Prak Prabodhat Naisha Dosha The defect that you are pointing out does not exist in this case. Sarva Vyavaharana Iva Prak Brahmatmata Vijnadat Satyatva Upapattehe Prag Brahmatmata Vijnanat before the knowledge of Brahmatmata, before the knowledge that everything is Brahman, Prag before that. Saravyavaharanam Satyatu Upatehe. It is tenable that all the Vyavahara is real until the knowledge takes place that what is real is Brahman and the duality is unreal. Until that knowledge takes place, all the Vyavahara is real. So satyatvam bada abhavaha. Satyatvam is that which cannot be falsified. Bada mithyatva nischaya. What is bada? The, the nischaya. The determination or understanding or ascertainment that this is mithya. That dvaita is mithya when you come to this conclusion or this ascertained knowledge that duality is mithya. That's called Madha. In the, in the wake of the knowledge of non-duality, the duality is seen to be mithya or false or projection. Says Nyayadirne, Tattva Jnanat Urdhvam Prashiva Kale Vyavahara Anupattihiti Vikalpya He Puru Bhakshi, you are saying that the Vyavahara is not tenable because all Vyavahara or transaction requires duality. All right. Tattva Jnana Urdham Prachiva Kale. What you say is true after the knowledge or before the knowledge? 
tattvajnana before the knowledge of the truth that vyavhara is false or after knowledge of the truth is false adya mangi krutya it is true that once tattvajnana takes place all vyavhara is falsified tat kena kam pashyet o kena kam jigre jigriya what is shrunyat jigret shrunyat etc who will see with what there is no seer no seen seer seen duality is no more there Now who will see with what but that is only yatra dasya saram it will come here atma eva bhut when for this knower everything has become atma then who will see with what when the seer seen duality is no more there even if the vyavahara takes place the only badit anuvrutti it takes place in keeping with the previous habit that's all sarv vyavahara eva prag brahmata vijnanat satyatva upatte he says nyayanine pratyekshadinam dvaitavagahinam tatvikatva tvatvika pramanatva abhavepi even though we do not accept pratyaksha etc as real pramanam tatvikatva they are not pramana in absolute sense meaning that what the perception reveals is not abaditam is not negatable all the way perception reveals duality and duality does get negated in the wake of no- knowledge of non duality therefore pratyaksha also is pramanam as long as what it reveals is not negated so tattva jnana prachi kale before tattva jnanam vyavahara so dvitiyam sarva vyavaharanam prag brahmatatma brahmatmada vijnana before the knowledge of the identity of brahman atma takes place until then only all these pramanas pratyaksha etc and the shastra also including moksha shastra has pramanyam is valid until then the drishtan is given tattva jnanat purvam satyatva abhimana dwara vyavahar upattav and you say you do not require a real duality for you to function in duality all that you require is giving reality to duality you say you do not require a real snake to be afraid all you need is a projection of the snake in your mind and that's how you are afraid so also you don't require a real duality for you to do the transaction your notion that the duality is real that's enough for all the transactions to take place <coughs> so vyavahare bad abhavat vyavahara samat vastu angata ru pramanya siddhe samvijnana puram sarva vyavahara siddhi so drishtanam aha swapna vyavahara seva prak prabodha drishtand just as the vyavahara taking place in dream is very much real for the dreamer until he wakes up so what is meant by waking up waking up is when the dream is negated so there is a badha or negation of dream because when you wake up then realize that this is all false jagene juto jagat dise nahi ungama atpata bhog bhase chitta chaitanya vilasa tadrupano etc so only when i wake up that i realize that now two kinds of waking up but then still in the day to day waking up also i realize that what i all experience in dream was not really there it was a projection <coughs> similarly we are all in dream 
यस्याम जागृति भूतानि सा निशा पश्य दो मुनहे यस्याम जागृति भूतानि यस्याम भूतानि जागृति वैदी इग्नोरेंट पीपल आर अवेक दैट्स कॉल्ड ड्रीम सो ऑल ऑफ दिस इज लाइक ड्रीम मीनिंग अनरियल लाइक द ड्रीम बट एज लॉन्ग एज ड्रीम इज नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज टू बी अनरियल सो लॉन्ग इट इज रियल एंड देयरफॉर इन द ड्रीम आल्सो इफ द डॉग इज चेजिंग यू यू रन फॉर योर लाइफ because that dog is taken to be real only when you wake up then you laugh at yourself hey what happened to me i ran for my life when a dog was chasing me then you realize that dog also was your projection your body also was your projection in that alone all this vyavahara was taking place see is nyaya nirne atmana ब्रह्मात्मता स्वाभाविकु अनुतत्व मनीषा समुन्मेषे कथम सर्व्यवहार सिद्धि सिस बट यू से देर आत्मा इज ब्रह्म एंड सो देर एवरीबडी नो द आत्मा सो डज एवरीबडी नो आत्मा इज ब्रह्म इन दैट केस हाउ कैन व्यवहार टेक प्लेस सो भाष्यकार से यद्धे न सत्यात्मकपत्ति तवत प्रमाण प्रमेय फलक्षण विकारु अनुतत्वबुद्धि न कस्यचि उत्पद्य यावदे सत्यात्म एक प्रतिपत्ति न सो एज लॉन्ग एज द प्रतिपत्ति ऑफ द नॉलेज दैट आत्मा इज वन एंड नॉन ड्यूअल एज लॉन्ग एज दैट नॉलेज डज नॉट टेक प्लेस दैट इज सत्यम दैट नॉन ड्यूअलिटी और वननेस ऑफ आत्मा इज सत्यम इज रियल अंटिल दैट कन्विक्शन दैट विजन दैट नॉलेज डज नॉट टेक प्लेस तवत प्रमाण प्रमेय फलक्षण विकार अनुतत्वबुद्धि न कसि उत्पद्य अंटिल देन नो बडी एवर थिंग्स दैट दिस इज ऑल फॉल्स प्रमाण दैट माई आईज आर देर प्रमेय द फॉर्म्स आर देर देन फल प्रमेरे सो घटा इज देर सो आय एम द घट दृष्टा दिस इज द घटा द पॉट There is the ghata kar rutti the phalam. All this is taken to be real. Nobody thinks that this is all false. Vikara shu anuttu buddhi ne kasid utpan. It's called vikara. Vikara means what? Vachar hambaram. Vikara na madhyam. Then vachchaka is the word vikara. That pramana also is vikara. The eyes. The pramata also is vikara. The no seer. The prame also is vikara, the ghata. The prame the also is vikara, ghata kar buddhi vritti. Or vikara, and therefore they are all macha mitya. But until the knowledge of non-duality takes place, until then this mitya, this the reality given to this duality does not go. <coughs> तथा स्वभाव सिद्ध ब्रह्मात्मदा अनुरोधेन विकारेशु अवदासी संभवात ही डज नॉट रियलाइज दैट ब्रह्मात्मदा इज टू बी नोन दैट इट इज नॉट इनफ दैट आत्मा इज ब्रह्म बट इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट वन शुड नो दैट आई एम ब्रह्म सो इवन दो आत्मा इज ब्रह्म स्टिल दैट डज नॉट हेल्प इन एनी वे भाष्यकार से विकारा तो अहम मम अविद्यात्मात्मीयन भाव सर्वो जंतु प्रतिपद्य स्वाभाविकी ब्रह्मात्मता हिवा
विकारान एव तो अहम ममयति अविद्या बिकॉज ऑफ इग्नरेंस द वॉट इज विकार अहम एंड मम द प्रमाता आई एम मम दिस इज माइन यदि आत्म आत्मीय आत्मा मीन सेल्फ आत्मीय मीन्स वंस पोजेस्ट पोजेस्ट बाय द सेल्फ आई एंड माइन सो आत्मीय भाव सर्वजंतु प्रतिपद्य Even though the fact is that what is is Brahman, that that the knower also is Brahman, the object of knowledge also is Brahman. Everything is Brahman, but until the knowledge of non-duality takes place, until then he takes all of this to be real and says, "This is I, this is mine." In that way, he relates to everything. Swabhavikam Brahmatam Hitva. Even though Brahmatma da Brahman is Atma, Swabhaviki from the beginningless time, Brahman is Atma has always been Brahman, but Hitwa that Swabhaviki that natural oneness with Brahman is discarded, and one takes oneself to be a limited individual as I and other things as mine. So this is what happens in the realm of ignorance. <coughs> therefore bhashyakara concludes tasmat prag brahma atmata pratibodha upapanna sarva laukika vaidika scha vyavahara tasmat prag brahma atmata pratibodha before the arising dawning of the knowledge of the atma being brahman upanna sarvo laukiko vaidikascha vyavahara all the laukika and vaidika vyavahara is all tenable before the knowledge of the identity of atma and brahma see this ratna prabha वस्तुतः मिथ्यात्कारु तश्चय अभाव इवन दो वाट इज इज मिथ्या बट दैट मिथ्या तो निश्चय इज नॉट देर मीनिंग वी डू नॉट नो दैट टू बी मिथ्या प्रत्यक्षादी व्यवहारोपत्त अंटिल देन प्रत्यक्ष इन ऑल दिस प्रमाण आर वैलिड जस्ट एज द ड्रीम वर्ल्ड इज वैलिड फॉर द ड्रीम आर सो ऑल्सो प्रत्यक्ष आदि प्रमाण वैलिड फॉर दि पर्सन हू डज नॉट नो दि नॉन डिवालिटी उक्त दृष्टांत विवृणोति फॉर दैट स्वप्न व्यवहार से प्राक प्रबोधा भाष्यकर एडियर दि एक्सापल ऑफ ड्रीम विवृणोति भाष्यकर एक्सप्लेन दैट सेम एक्सापल फर्दर यथा सुप्त से भाष्यकार यथाप्त प्राकृत जन से स्वप्न उच्चावचा भावान पश्यत निश्चित प्रत्यक्षाभिमत विज्ञान प्राक्बोधा न प्रत्यक्षाभास अभिप्राय तत्काले तुप्त प्राकृत जन से प्राकृत जन नॉट इन इग्नरेंट पर्सन हु इज स्लीपिंग स्वप्न उच्चावचा भावान पश्यत इन द ड्रीम He sees great things and inferior things, or sometimes in a dream, this person sees himself as being a king. Sometimes he sees himself as a beggar. So uchha vasan bhavan pashyada, seeing the high 
and low entities in the dream. Nishchitam eva pratikshavimadam vijnanam bhavati He thinks that I re am really seeing a king or I am really a king, this is what? So nishchitam eva pratikshavimadam vijnanam bhavati bhav His perception, he thinks that it is real, I am really seeing this. I saw a red elephant, Swamiji, in the dream. So when I was dreaming, I thought elephant is really red. I may be wondering how it can be, but see, I do not question my perception in the dream. Prak Prabodhat until I wake up. Nacha Pratyaksha Vasavi Praya Tat Kare At that time, I do not realize that it is not pratyaksha, it is pratyaksha abhasa hai. It is not perception, it is only semblance of perception, an appearance of perception, not real perception. That time I do not know. In the dream if you knew that this is all uh, mithya, that, that would be wonderful. So this is a large dream. In that we are supposed to wake up to realize that all this is mithya. <coughs> But until one is waken up to that knowledge, one does not think that this is all pratyaksha vasa, this is an appearance of perception and not real perception. Tat kale na bhavadi, tadvata. Similarly, until one wakes up to the true knowledge that I am Brahman, until then, all these transactions or interactions that are taking place, one takes them to be real, never suspects that all of this is only an appearance. Says Nyaya Nyaya, Yanisha Sarabhutanam, Ityadis Mrutehe, Gnani Vyavahara Vasthayam, Supto Bhavade. Hey, this happens to Gnani also, because in Vyavahara Vastha he is sleeping. So, Yatha Suptasya, are you also including a Gnani? So, he says, Prakrutasya Janasya, we are talking about ignorant people, not the enlightened people. Meaning that an enlightened person knows, even while doing the Vyavahara, that this is Mithya. And that's the only difference between the enlightened person and the ignorant person. <coughs> okay, alright. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyade Purnasya Purnamada Yapurnami Vava Shishyade Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Krutau Vande Bhagavantau Punaf Punaha Ishvaro Guru Ratmedi Murti Bheda Vibhagine Vyoma Vadvyapta Dehaya Dakshina Murtaye Namaha Om Shant Tishant Tishantihi Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Ramaha Hari Om